entertaining in style with David Caruso at home edition. And first up, celebrating Valentine's Day while social distancing. You might have to skip parties and big events this year, but our next guest says with a little creativity and planning, you can still enjoy this heart holiday with those you love. That's right, David Caruso is a nationally recognized event planner and designer. He joins us with five ways to celebrate in style, even at home. Good to see you, David. Hey, good morning, ladies. I love Valentine's Day. Look at you in your oh, pink. Looking good. <laughs> I got all dressed just for Valentine's. I brought the sparkly hearts home for, we usually have these in the studio on Valentine's Day, but I brought them home just for today. That's right. Okay, so people still wanna have a special Valentine's Day. They wanna feel like it, it means something. So where do we begin? Absolutely, Tiff. So we want to make it special. And I think that it's so fun to just like totally binge watch on your favorite romantic movies, things like The Notebook, Sleepless in Seattle. Of course, I love Four Weddings and a Funeral, one of my favorites. I also really like taking some of these virtual classes or virtual events online. My friends at Olive and Atlas Travel have these super cool like virtual vacations with wine tastings in Italy and other places like that. And I know, Tiff, this is one of the things you love the most is hand handwriting special notes and these yeah. note cards from paper whites that you guys have your own little valentine of your own that i dropped off for you but uh, i just these love so these cute. note cards yeah super fun so make sure that you write people some great notes we all have our little note cards from paper whites just love that so some easy ways and then of course it's all about the food right ladies Oh yeah, yes. I, oh I love these note cards. Mine says sending love from Milwaukee with a, a, a skyline scene, which is so great. <laughs> but yeah, Beautiful. I think the, the food is great. And I saw an advanced picture of what you're about to show. This is spectacular. <laughs> I know I loved this. So this is one thing that we call cheap and cheerful girls. And this is repurposing a chocolate candy box turned into the perfect charcuterie platter. This is one of my favorite new things. First, you know, just select the size of the box kind of based on your family size or, or how many people you're going to be with. Uh, prepare the box and ingredients. So empty out all the chocolates, put them in your nightstand for yourself to nosh on at night. <laughs> and then it just turns into an easy self-serve snack tray with oh. cheese and fruit, nuts, little candies, of course. But isn't that fun? Adorable. That's cute. <laughs> and so easy. There I am presenting it to you. Uh, but I just love this. I think it's super easy, not expensive, and your guests and family will love it. I think that's and, so I, I love that, David. And your next idea has to do with cheers. So we all want to have a little bubbly, perhaps. And you have an idea for for flutes, what to do with champagne flutes. Yeah, we absolutely need to cheers to love. So this is what I love about champagne this time. Four easy steps for these champagne jelly flutes. I think everyone is just going to love this one, too. First, this is a kind of a dramatic, festive, sparkling treat that's best served with a spoon, which people will think is so cool. Prepare your ingredients. It's unflavored gelatin, sugar, dry sparkling wine, sparkling pale white grape juice, raspberries, half and half. The ice bath and chilled champagne flutes are key. So after 30 minutes of chilling, what you're going to do is push the raspberry down into the gelatin. You can see it there to hold oh. it in place. It's so fun. And then you whisk the extra gelatin and a half and half to create that faux champagne top, which is really cool. Chill it for two more hours. And there you have your special jello champagne drink to eat with a spoon. It is so, so Ew. cool. I yeah, love I'm, it. That's so cute. What a cool little way to do like a toast with the champagne, even though, you know, it's champagne. Exactly. Yes. And for the um, kids to just the, omit the champagne. That's true. There you go. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, maybe they need a little taste. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll sleep. Right? Maybe it'll put them to bed for once you get to the dinner after dinner. But let's start with dinner. What are we going to do there? Okay, so at Thanksgiving, our sheet pan for two was so popular with Morning Blend viewers. We're bringing back yeah. the sheet pan for two, which you could have for more than two. This one definitely serves, I would say, probably three or four. But this is the sheet pan Parmesan and steak and potatoes. It's so, so good. The simple ingredients and the grocery ingredients are less than $50. So this wow. is really affordable. You have one pan, 
one bowl and it's totally clean. It's the breeze, but cleanup is a breeze, which is so, so fun. So here we go, putting it together in an eight by 13, 18 by 13 sheet pan. First, the potatoes tossed with olive oil, minced garlic, salt, and baked at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. So first you gotta get those potatoes baked. Then yeah. after that's done, you add the asparagus, really cool, just really easy, drizzled with olive oil, salt, and pepper. The star of the show is the steak, this flank steak that we used rubbed with minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, olive oil, and of course, salt and pepper. Really good. Broil it for eight to 10 minutes, flipping halfway through. And ladies, then all you do is take it out, sprinkle it with a little extra Parmesan trees, cheese and parsley, and no you've way. got your dinner. That's amazing. Yum. Now, I know Adam made that, and then he handed the tray to you. I'm just Molly, kidding. stop calling me out. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. That looked fantastic. Okay, we ran out of time. David, quickly mention your cheesecake, because what's amazing about this is it's no bake right? This is totally great, Molly. It's no bake. It's no hassle. It's delicious. It's made in a spring form pan with these great strawberries. It has a graham cracker chocolate hazelnut crust, a layer of strawberry cheesecake, and it's garnished with fresh strawberries. Here's the strawberries being cooked so that we could make that topping. The crust is so delicious. And again, anyone can make this, even the, the morning blend guys that watch, you know, it's no mm -hmm. bake. You can make Make this special and it's so delicious and of course it looks beautiful too oh and what Aww. girl is it gonna be oh look at you that's so cute happy <laughs> valentine's day david yeah absolutely happy oh, valentine's is, to both of you that is fantastic i love that you look fantastic love the hearts behind you thank you so much for doing all that for us bye for david. thank day. you bye ladies bye love bye. you love you too and remember to